Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check a couple of new frames by FlyfishRC. In this quick video, I'm going to assemble the frames and go over their features and specs. And in an upcoming video, I'm going to build and fly the Tony 5 frame kit using the FlyfishRC 2004 2900KV motors, which I also intend to bench test as well. Let's start with the 55 frame. In terms of packaging, inside the box you can find the assembly diagram, some stickers, motor wire protection tubes, two anti-skid battery stickers, 25 and 20 cm long battery velcro straps, four 10 cm long zip ties, all the carbon fiber parts, 3D printed TPU parts, side aluminum plates, and silicone vibration dampers for securing the FPV camera, all the needed screws, spacers, and nuts for assembling the frame, and a 3D printed TPU part along with a hex screw and a nut for securing an action camera on the top plate. Now I'm going to quickly assemble the 55 frame, and I'll see you in a bit in order to check the results. As you can see, the 55 frame is fully assembled. The wheelbase of this frame is 255 mm and it features a true X pattern. It supports motors with a mounting pattern of 16 by 16 mm and it supports up to 5.5 inch propellers. The thickness of the replaceable and interchangeable carbon fiber arms is 5 mm. The thickness of the bottom and middle plates is 2.5 mm and the thickness of the top carbon fiber plate is 2 mm. The distance between the middle and top plates is 21.3 mm. The distance between the bottom and top plates is 28.6 mm. The length of the top plate is about 142 mm. On the middle of the frame you can find 20 by 20 and 30.5 by 30.5 mm M3 mounting holes for mounting your stack, and on the back of the frame 20 by 20 and 25.5 by 25.5 mm M2 mounting holes for mounting your VTX. As for its weight, the 55 frame weighs without the motor protectors 130.7 grams, including them it weighs 137.2 grams, and including the action camera mount, the total weight is about 148 grams. While I'm still not sure if I'm going to feature the 55 frame in a billion fly video or not, the frame itself looks quite interesting, the attention to details is great, all the frame parts are labeled, making the assembly procedure very simple, the center carbon fiber part is going to make sure that the arms are going to be locked in their position, and the fact that the frame supports up to 5.5 inch propellers makes it more interesting and unique. In addition, the frame supports both 19 and 20 mm wide FPV cameras, you'll be able to use both analog and digital systems, and in case you're going to use the DJI O3 system, you should note that you are getting these 1.6 mm screws that are going to enable you to mount the O3 VTX unit on the back of the frame. Moving on to the Tony 5 frame kit. In terms of packaging, the Tony 5 frame kit includes some stickers, 18 and 20 cm long battery velcro straps, two 10 cm long zip ties, anti-skid battery stickers, the right and left CNC camera mounts, silicone dampers for 19 and 20 mm wide FPV cameras, all the needed screws, nuts and spacers for assembling the frame, M1.6 screws for securing a DJI O3 air unit, and two 3D printed TPU parts, one for securing the VTX antenna on the back of the frame and the second for protecting the front bottom lip. Again, now I'm going to quickly assemble the frame and we'll check the results once I'm done. In terms 
terms of features and specs, the wheelbase of the 25 frame is 215 mm and it features a true X pattern. The thickness of each replaceable and interchangeable carbon fiber arm is 4 mm and its width is 7 mm. It supports motors with a mounting pattern of 12 by 12 mm. The thickness of the bottom, middle and top carbon fiber plates is 2 mm. The distance between the right and left aluminum side plates is 21.4 mm and using the provided silicone dampers you'll be able to use both 19 and 20 mm wide FPV cameras. The distance between the middle and top carbon fiber plates is 19.3 mm. The length of the top carbon fiber plate is about 103 mm. On the center and back side of the frame you can find both 20 by 20 and 25.5 by 25.5 mm M2 mounting holes for mounting your stack and VTX and the 25 frame weighs 57.4 grams. My first impression of the 25 frame is that while I'm not sure how durable this setup is going to be, the frame looks quite interesting and I'm going to feature it as I've mentioned earlier in a build and flight video along with the Flyfish RC 2004-2900 KV motors. I'm not 100% sure about the setup that I'm going to use but I'm probably going to go for a digital setup and it should be a sub 250 grams drone. Finally, let's check the Atlas 4 inch frame. In terms of packaging, the Atlas 4 frame kit contains some stickers, the front and back carbon fiber arms, the bottom, middle and top carbon fiber plates, 18 and 20 centimeters long battery velcro straps, the right and left aluminum side plates, silicone vibration dampers for 19 and 20 millimeters wide FPB cameras, anti-slip battery pads, all the screws, spacers and nuts which are needed for assembling the frame, M1.6 screws for securing the DJI O3 air unit, an XT30 battery connector and 3D printed TPU parts which include an action camera mount, a front bumper, motor protectors, a VTX antenna and an XT30 battery connector mount and this part which will enable you to secure an Immortal T antenna and mount a 12 mm wide GPS unit on the back of the frame. Again, now I'm going to assemble the Atlas 4 frame and then we'll check it out. Now as you can see the Atlas 4 frame is assembled and not that assembling the other frames was complicated but this was the easiest frame to assemble and it probably took me less than 10 minutes to assemble it. In terms of features and specs, the wheelbase of the Atlas 4 LR frame is 173mm and it features a dead cat pattern. The distance between the front right and left motors is about 140 millimeters. The distance between the back, left and right motors is about 135 millimeters and the distance between the back and front motors is about 108 millimeters. The thickness of the carbon fiber arms is 3.5 millimeters and the width is 7.6 millimeters. The frame supports motors with a mounting pattern of between 9 to 12 millimeters. The front arms are made of a single carbon fiber piece and the back ones are interchangeable. The thickness of the bottom, middle and top carbon fiber plates is 1.5 millimeters. The distance between the middle and top carbon fiber plates is 20.2 millimeters. The length of the top plate is about 105 millimeters. The distance between the right and left aluminum side plates is 21.8 millimeters and just like the other frames using the provided silicone dampers you'll be able to mount both 19 and 20 millimeters wide FPV cameras. On the center and back side of the frame you can find 
20 by 20 and 25.5 by 25.5 millimeters M2 mounting holes for mounting your stack and VTX and the weight of the frame without the motor protectors and the action camera mount is 50.2 grams and 56.3 grams including them. Due to time constraints, I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to feature this frame in a build and flight video unless you really want me to do it and in case I'm going to test it out, what I'm probably going to end up doing is to transplant all the electronic components from the Flywheel LR setup into this one. Anyway, that's going to do it for this quick build and overview video of these frames by Flyfish RC. As I've mentioned earlier, the Tony 5 frame is going to be featured in an upcoming build and flight video, so be sure to check it out. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. I wish you all happy flying and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.